Breathtaking views surround the remote Kimberley town of Fitzroy Crossing. But when the mighty Fitzroy River burst its banks over summer, the community faced a disaster not seen before. Howdy folks, welcome back to... Local broadcaster Natalie Davey was a key voice of information during the floods and months on she says it's the recovery that's dominating community discussions, not the voice to Parliament. Myself and a lot of people have just been um, processing through all the basics of, you know, shelter, food, um, looking after a family and the next steps to that. Although the Bunnabur and Womanjerry woman says the slow and protracted recovery and rebuild operation has highlighted what happens when Indigenous voices are not heard, leading to greater strain on already stretched housing, increased overcrowding which leads to further health issues and a lack of access to basic services. One thing this flood has brought up is how many things in mainstream are set up not to listen and or... Um, to pay lip service. This is our house. Musician and community advocate Patrick Davies had his home flooded and the building will almost certainly need to be knocked down. He says it's important for all perspectives to be heard in this national debate. We're always subject to the, to the whims of government and different policies, changes, and there's, there's a level of mistrust in of the system in, in itself. Well, the river broke the bank. He's supportive of the voice to Parliament, particularly enshrining it in the Constitution, and sees it as part of the solution to Indigenous disadvantage. It's one small step forward, and it's not the whole answer. But at the same time, I would say to anybody that's saying no, including the, the politicians, well, what else can you put on the table for us that's better? Um, one step forward is better than none. Privately, some community leaders say they're baffled by the announcement from Peter Dutton and the opposition that they'll vote no in campaign against a voice to Parliament. Others here tell me that they're concerned about the unknowns of the voice and that it could lead to more politicians and fewer outcomes. Regardless of position, they all agree that there needs to be respectful debate around the voice to Parliament. Dan Borsha, ABC News from Bunaba Country, Fitzroy Crossing.